Let's talk about reading books, especially for medicine. We have these huge chunks of books that we are given to use as references or to study. And we are also given the lecture notes that we are supposed to study from. So for any new medical student who's starting out, the two most obvious sources that you are given to study is the textbook and the lecture notes. And both of these are just reading material. You have to sit down and just start reading them. And for most of you, just reading it may not be the most efficient way of learning the material. But since textbooks are such a great study material, they are complete, they are reliable, and they have very pretty diagrams, which is what I like about them most. And the feel of books, of course. They feel really nice. And the smell, can't forget the smell of new books. And the thing is, these books, just reading it like a novel is not going to work. Although it may motivate you to just sit down and read it when you have a book with you like that. Just reading it like a novel just from start to end is not gonna work. And I'm sure this probably was the approach for 99% of you who actually did start studying with books and probably even gave up afterwards. They are not supposed to be read like novels. They are not novels. They are textbooks. They are reference books. And although we were given textbooks all our life, in school and in university, no one ever really taught us how to use these. And a basic idea that people have is just, you take the textbook and you read it and you just highlight the stuff that you think are important or you highlight the stuff that you think are less important or whichever the system you have in place. But in reality, that's actually, that is not the proper way to study with textbooks. I only properly learned the, the correct way to study with books after I watched, I think it was a viral video that, that you've seen almost everywhere on YouTube and on Instagram. It's a lecture, a video of a 40 minute lecture on the topic study smarter by Marty Lobdell. And he talked about how to study with textbooks. And the first thing he mentioned is that don't start reading it like a novel. Um, let's say you want to turn to a specific topic on your textbook, let's say you are studying upper limb. And the first thing you need to do is go over the subtopics. They may, some books have the uh, subtopics listed out in the beginning, but the others, they have them like highlighted throughout the pages. So first, what you need to do is turn to all those pages within that topic and look at all the subtopics that they cover. So, and afterwards, what I like to do mostly is look at the diagrams. It's, it's easier than just jumping straight into the reading material, just look at the diagrams that they have given and just observe them and get a rough idea of like, okay, this is a picture of your arm and this is how it looks inside underneath the skin. And those are muscles and those are nerves and they have labeled them. So just look at them and get a rough idea. Obviously just looking at them once, it isn't gonna go into your head, but before you read into it, you need to know what this nerve is and what this muscle is. And if you're gonna have to reference it every time it comes up and you have to go back to the diagram and check it every time, then that's not going to be an efficient learning session for you. So what I like to do is just first take a glance at those diagrams, pictures, and then afterwards start out with the paragraphs. And once you do that, trust me, your reading experience will be much better. And another thing that um, I like to do is, especially this works if you are reading it for the second time. Let's say you forgot this topic. Okay, I need to completely relearn this again and then you go back to the, the topic, I suggest you start by uh, looking at the questions. So I'm assuming the reason you realized that you need to revise this completely because you completely forgot this. Let's be honest, it's human nature, everybody forgets. And the reason you found out is probably because it was questioned in a paper. You came across this in a past paper and then and you realize, okay, shit, I don't know anything. I don't know jack about this topic. I need to brush this up again. So what I suggest is, they have a bunch of questions on the textbook. If they do, you can go through them and get a rough idea about what they expect you to learn from this topic, what they want you to know, what you need to get into your head. You won't know the answer to those questions when you go through them, but you have to read and understand the question, and understand what they are looking for. And then when you read the paragraph, you will be looking for those answers. And that is a much more active method of learning than just reading a book like a novel. And another thing I forgot to mention earlier, when you're reading it for the first time, this is a must. This is what you absolutely need to do this if you're gonna continue studying with books. Um, and the best way to do this is with sticky notes. So you have to get um, a bunch of sticky notes. And then after every paragraph, you have to ask yourself what you understood from that paragraph. And I want you to think you're asking a friend um, who probably read the same paragraph. Let's say you have a friend who read the same paragraph. And what would you ask that person 
if you want to check if they have actually read the paragraph to check if they have understood so after every paragraph you have to write down a question that explains that asks you the thing you understood from that paragraph so the next time you revise especially for like a an active recall session i will go into more detail about active recall later on but if you want to do some active recall on your second revision of this topic all you have to do is go through those um those questions that you written down on your sticky notes and then try to answer those questions and the answer is the paragraph so if you if you can't honestly think of the answer if you can't remember the answer you are going to have to read the paragraph again but it saves a lot of time because um you're filtering out the topics that you need to study for the second time because you don't need to read that thing that you already have in your mind but you need to make sure that you can say it without looking at the paragraph so i just suggest you say the answer out loud or write it down in any case just make sure that you can actually recall that answer and you do and that saves a lot of time rather than reading the whole uh, paragraph again and especially if you are reading it for the second time and you haven't forgotten it that's actually a very inefficient way to revise things and uh, active recall is the best way to revise content that you have already learned and to make sure that it retains in your brain for a much longer time so that's it for today let me do a quick recap of all the things i said if you want to study by reading books or lecture notes or generally reading something okay the three tips i want you to get into your head is don't start reading it like a novel first look at the topics and the subtopics then the diagrams and then into the reading material and the second tip is write down a question after you've understood something after every paragraph write down a question and keep it there so that you'll be able to refer to that question the next time you go over it because going through that thing once is not gonna go into your head forever i mean there are some people who have like photographic memory but for the majority of us going through this going through a topic once or twice is never enough you have to go through it multiple times for it to stay in your brain so that you'll be able to retrieve it during the exam write questions and the third thing is to read the questions that they have given in the textbook or on your past papers regarding this topic uh, before you revise it for the second time so yeah that's it for today and thank you guys for listening in for the med motivation podcast be sure to follow me on instagram at senpai simplified and on my youtube subscribe to senpai simplified and also i have a patreon and twitter and a facebook so if you really want to support me make sure you go check those out as well on patreon i do pre releases and some exclusive content for my patrons if you want to sign up for that and support this channel make sure you go ahead and check out the links in the description so you can uh, support me and be a good go high senpai out motivation